My cousin recently moved here from Sukhumbabad, India. On a recent road trip exploring America, we were shooting shit and exchanging ghost stories and laughing at similarities and differences between American ghost stories and Indian ghost stories. When I asked him if he had ever experienced anything supernatural, his eyes widened as he averted his eyes to the window. Just when the silence was about to be too much for me, he softly responded. Yeah, a few, but one was troubling. When I was in my second year of college, I was in a multi-gender school. I made many friends, and I was so happy to be away from my conservative parents. It was so much fun, but it was a very old building. Electricity was only put in the rooms. Sometimes candles were placed along the windows if a watchman was present, but normally once you left the rooms you were faced with complete darkness. It's common to wake someone up if you needed to walk down to the restroom at the end of the hall. We all had a childish fear of being alone in the dark. One night, I used the restroom and it was about 4am. I went to my friend's bed and tapped her on the arm. She immediately opened her eyes as soon as I touched her. I apologized for bothering her. I told her I needed to pee. She smiled at me and hopped out of bed. All the way down the hallway, she laughed and danced. I cannot see her at all. But her bangles clanked together loudly, and the bells on her ankles jingled softly. It was very calming. I laughed and satiated my hips down the hallway with her, too tired to match the elaborate arm movements. She said nothing to me, though occasionally I heard her hum one of her favorite Bollywood songs. The same thing happened on our return, and I fell asleep very quickly. I woke fairly late the next morning to the sound of men in my room. They were surrounded my bed. I bolted from my bed prepared to protect my friend when I realized they were administrators of the college. I peered over closer. My friend's lifeless eyes were fixated on my bed. The same smile on her face. Suicide. Her time of death was 11.30pm, almost five hours after I woke her.